More than three hectares of New York real estate have been transformed into a winter wonderland, lit up by more than a thousand LED lights. One of the highlights of the New York City Winter Lantern Festival is its elaborate archway. Many of the lanterns are inspired by Chinese culture, including this display featuring four animals. First time when you say that, you don't know what, what it is. It's from the Chinese traditional culture we call the four symbol. Each of the animals represented uh, one direction. We have west, east, north, and south. At a length of more than 30 meters, the alligator pathway that you can walk through is the longest lantern. There's also a huge dinosaur park that's sure to thrill the kids, as is the holiday-themed part of the exhibit. All of the lanterns at this festival were made by Chinese artisans, hundreds of them who shipped their lanterns from China to the U.S. Thirty of them even moved into nearby cottages for a month just to assemble the masterpieces you see behind me. Chinese lanterns, first introduced more than 2,000 years ago during the Han Dynasty, has become an important part of Chinese cultural celebrations. Liu says it takes a lot of skill to make them out of LED lights. Each artisan, they need like 10 years experience to become a you know, professional artisan to, to make a lantern. This is the second year in a row that Snug Harbor in Staten Island has put on the festival. Organizers say last year's event attracted an unexpectedly high number of visitors to a part of New York that is not traditionally on the radar. It was unbelievable. Last year we thought, gosh, would, can we get 75,000 people to come out of Staten Island? Doubled it. It was, it was so well received by the community who were so grateful to have world-class cultural programming in their backyard. Organizers expect this year's New York City Winter Lantern Festival to be an even bigger draw as it has doubled in size. The event runs until January 12th. Karina Huber, CGTN, New York.